Altair Compose and Altair Twin Activate are powerful tools with an almost endless supply of use cases and applications. Compose is an OML interpreter that can be used for handling, manipulating, and visualizing large volumes of data. Users can write scripts to perform a wide array of calculations and automations in OML, TCL, Python, and R. Twin Activate is a block diagram software that allows users to create digital twins or model at the system level. It also efficiently integrates with a variety of other Altair tools for powerful co-simulation. To demonstrate some of the capabilities of each tool, we will walk through a simple example of using a Monte Carlo approach to approximate pi. This approach requires us to inscribe a circle of radius r into a square with a side length equal to 2r. From here, we can find the areas of these two shapes by using known equations. For the square, we will simply square the length of the side, and for the circle, we will find pi times the radius squared. If we take the ratio of these two areas, we can rewrite them as an expression that equals pi. Assuming we do not know pi already, the Monte Carlo approach will allow us to approximate it by randomly generating points and seeing if they reside inside the circle or not. We can get close to pi by taking the ratio of points inside the circle versus the total points in place of the true area of the shapes. We will begin by creating this process in Altair Compose. We can start by defining the size of the square and circle and how many random points we want to generate. We can use a variety of built-in functions to prepare the variables and matrices that will store information and prepare the figures for plotting. We can also define custom functions for unique tasks that we wish to perform multiple times. I have set up this version of the script to generate a live image and current estimate of pi over a relatively small number of iterations. We can see the random points being created and then they are measured to see if they are within the circle or not. I also modified the script to wait until the end for plotting, which allows us to increase the number of random samples drastically. With this approach, we can see that we achieve a very good approximation of pi. The plotting tools within Compose also allow us to view how our estimation zeroed in on the true value of pi with more iterations. We can accomplish the same thing in Altair Twin Activate using a slightly different approach. The key difference is that Twin Activate assumes a time-based solution, so we can acquire our random x and y coordinates by generating random numbers for each step of the solver. From there, the process is relatively similar. We define the radius of our circle and subsequent size of the square, and then we see if the current random point is within the circle or not using the Euclidean distance between the random point and the origin. To keep track of the number of points inside and outside the circle, we will implement simple counters that will increment by one each time their input condition is met. Lastly, we will reapply the Monte Carlo approximation using the totals from the counters to estimate the value of pi. Again, we can see that with a large enough sample size, we can get very close to the true value. While this specific application was relatively simple, it shows just the beginning of what is possible in Altair Compose and Twin Activate. There are many other use cases for each tool, and often the same goal can be reached in either, or you may opt to use both of them together to accomplish unique tasks. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on Altair products, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us at trueinsight.io.